Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to create and initialize an integer array. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Would truly appreciate it. In this video, we are going to learn how to initialize integer arrays. Now, arrays are nothing more than a collection of the same data types. So in this one, we're using the integers. So I would call this a, a collection of integers. And you can see here that I have a variable of type n. The open and close square brackets kind of tell me it's an array. And here I'm going to initialize it with this set of integer values. Now the beautiful thing about this is I don't need to go out and count these and ages will automatically tell me how many is in there. Now there's another way to do that and it's this version right here and notice that I tell them I have five integers. Now with C programming, if I say five, I can't put it in six, it only will limit me to five. If I try to access the sixth one, I will hear nothing but kaboom. That's right, it will blow up. So let's see what happens when I start stepping through this program. So notice I'm gonna hit the F10 button and notice that I now have my variables up in memory. Notice here, ages, in position sub zero, I have 22 all the way down to 56. You can see that here, 22 to 56. So this collection of integers has been populated correctly. Now, the only thing I really need to remember is in C programming, arrays index values start at zero. Now, this is a problem for all beginner programmers, this zero. Um, you just gotta get your head around it and say, I have an array, okay, sub-zero. It's gonna take a while, sooner or later, you'll figure that out. Now, not only can we look at ages with 10 objects, we're gonna debug here uh, ages v2, and notice here, before I get ages v2, I've got some uninitialized values in there. Now what this means is I have just declared the variable. In C programming, when you declare a variable, it doesn't guarantee that the location you're about to use is nice and clean and pretty. What it does say is uh, you better initialize it. So here you can see that I'm saying ages sub v2 sub zero, the first one, I'm gonna put 22 in. Notice these numbers correspond with the first five up here. And so it goes zero, one, two, three, four. But there are five, let's count that. One, two, three, four, five. And that's why we have five here. So when I step through this, F10 steps through it, and we can bring up our little debugging window here. And notice as I step through this, the values change. Do you see that? Very nice. So now that I have all of that in memory, then we can do one of the most beautiful operations on there, and it's to do the size of ages. So what size is, it's gonna go out there and see how many bytes does ages consume. Now, integer is a four byte variable. That means for every integer we have, it consumes four bytes. Now, you now know that. How big do you think this will be? I have 10 elements in there. You're right, that should come out and say 40. Let's step over and see. Notice it says the size of ages is 40. Now, the number of elements is the size of ages divided by the size of int. Well, I just told you that the integer is four bytes, so 40 divided by four is 10, and we have 10 elements in there. Let's count them real fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. So let's execute the next line. And notice that we have number of elements, ten. So now I'm just going to make a variable of type count, which is an integer, and I'm going to do this last little math expression. The size of ages, 40, divided by 4, count will be 10. Now you can see I'm about to do a for loop, 
And that for loop is going to go over 10 times, starting at zero. And I'm going to build a string that looks like this for ages. Let's uh, do this. I'll put a breakpoint here and let's just run this. And notice how that came out. So it's ages sub zero is 22. Ages sub one is 34. And all the way to ages sub nine is 56. And there you have the first video on arrays in C programming language. Okay team, hope you enjoyed this video about initializing integer arrays. Please consider subscribing, leaving a comment, and giving me the thumbs up. I appreciate it.